what's up my crypto legends how is everyone doing guys what an absolute collapse that we did have this morning looking at bitcoin this was a complete fake out or there was not enough steam from the balls breaking out of this descending wedge i hope everybody was safe out there i did not trade this um yeah guys this was looking pretty bad this morning very very aggressive drop as you can see here on the price action so we're going to analyze the situation here we do know with the conflict you know that russia is already invading ukraine there has also been bombing so it's very, the, the, the market has seen an effect on this we can see the s p 500 also having a, a pretty nasty fall as you can see and um you know all major markets dax on dow jones nasdaq a lot of them are absolutely collapsing now s p 500 we can see it's losing this major range so it's very probable if we do get some kind of dead cat bounce it might be an ideal shorting opportunity let's see how this reacts to this level to the 4200 250 points it might be a great opportunity there's uh, an insane amount of resistance at these levels now there is a possibility that we're not going to see that dead cat bounce and we're just going to continue to the downside guys as you can see you know just looking at this kind of price action from the past also remember back in the black swan event back in march of 2020 we did see a fall a correction and then a very very aggressive fall here for about a couple of weeks so could we see something similar in the next coming weeks absolutely yes it is very very possible losing major support levels i don't see a strong recovery happening especially what is going world uh, on worldwide so um yeah a lot of the old coins also getting absolutely crushed we could see you know matic network you know there was that possibility of a potential bounce from this range losing this level i think this is just basically going to continue to the downside next stop here for matic network for example this altcoin it's one dollar twenty if we're going to lose that one dollar forty one dollar twenty is next we are on the way to one dollar twenty and i think if we take a look at this projected move from this ascending broadening wedge from the breakout you know matic network can go as low as 80 cents approximately okay losing these major lows if bitcoin starts you know if bitcoin does continue to the downside we are going to see this major move to the downside on a lot of the altcoins guys let me just go here quickly through the comment section make sure to smash up the like button guys and yeah hope everybody is safe if you are trading make sure to place your stop losses don't risk too much okay and yes let's go here through quickly through the comment section and say hello just watch the last four hours the invasion live i'm tired it is very very sad to see okay um it's not looking very good guys but we are here to trade okay and are we going to find trading opportunities okay long shorts whatever um i think it is safer obviously right now to short um there is, we're going to talk about some major resistance levels that we do have above us we already having that kind of dead cat bounce are we going to continue to the upside or not i'm already in a short position here on prime xbt just at this major level because i'm just going to zoom out here on the one hourly on, on on bitcoin and it is true that we have lost this major higher low that we did create back in january okay we lost this one obviously one of the most important ones at thirty six thousand dollars we did get a bounce from that range we were talking about bullish case scenarios getting the bounce from this level we had a harmonic pattern right over here we have the descending brawning wedge breaking resistance so far so good i did not enter here i did not enter the breakout i did trade around the middle here on a live stream took some profits on that because i did see that momentum all the way to the resistance of the descending broadening wedge but i did not break the um trade the, i did not trade this breakout from this descending um descending broadening wedge breakout uh, we were hitting major resistance levels from you know we had this other descending channel remember guys just looking at the one hourly let me just zoom in so 
to see if you can guys can see it where we were creating these lower lows as you can see on the price action right there we consolidated here and we were getting heavy resistance from it we did not have a successful breakout from this support of this descending channel we were also having this major resistance i'm talking about that 39 39.5k level this is why i had this orange box so a lot of resistance even though we were looking for that bullish case scenario of course we had the news this morning about the situation in ukraine and it looks like that this had a major effect in the market um so yeah that did not help that had a, and a huge collapse on the bitcoin price dropping you know um what is it a 12 percent drop in you know just a matter of hours which is quite a lot for bitcoin in just a few hours so what is the situation right now well by the looks of things you know we have lost this major support so these major support levels are going to turn into very heavy resistance are we going to have that retracement to those levels guys well i think all of these levels are good for shorting if we do go all the way up there okay if we get up, up to thirty six thousand um three hundred two hundred dollars approximately that is a major short opportunity potentially um we have very strong volume to the downside you take a look at the one hourly the 30 minute it is absolutely crazy the amount of volume that there is okay so yeah like i said very likely all of these levels are going to be heavy heavy resistance major shorting opportunities uh right over here on on btc um i already shorted at this range i protected my position this is on prime xbt because um, we are hitting like i said you know that 35.6 35.5 range has been major major support here in the past as you can see we have kind of a double bottom right there so that is a level that we are currently hitting right now so obviously after this major drop it is kind of safer to short right not look for a bottom short those retracements and if you are interested in trading this i mean my my target here is the lows just in case we do get a double bottom and um um yeah that that's the thing but it's very probable that we might break it break it and go to that thirty three thousand dollars guys if you are interested in shorting okay or longing um if you are experienced down below you get an insane bonus on prime xbt i just entered this short position at 35.6k already protected my position i think we could have that leg down and maybe a potential bounce to that 36k range where we could possibly see another shorting opportunity guys we need to react to the market market can go up and down we need to protect our positions take profits because it's a crazy crazy moment now i do know unfortunately when we have these situations worldwide uh, like we have right now there is a huge amount of money to be made shorting also the market guys okay um s p 500 dow jones nasdaq you know other markets such as dax german stock market also having a major major collapse i was paying close attention okay let's take a look at the german stock market dax which i uh, started trading back in 2017 this one had a huge look a huge major support level where we were bouncing okay consistently and just you know yesterday two days ago beginning of the week you could see that major drop that major pull um you know major retracement all the way up here that would have been a great shorting opportunity because you are basically hitting that major resistance this is um the dax 30 hitting you know that for almost um 14,900 points right there that would have been an incredible short and the good thing about this is that you can trade this on prime xbt prime xbt has the german stock market it has nasdaq it has a bunch of markets here and you're using bitcoin ethereum usdt as collateral so you can trade the other markets which are very volatile at this moment also guys um let's analyze the situation like i said with bitcoin it is kind of safer to look for shorting opportunities not trying to spot the bottom right now after breaking this major support yesterday we were talking about the bullish case scenario where we could potentially get that bounce we had some you know good support some major bullish patterns we absolutely lost this level hope you everybody that would you know was trying to trade long positions or whatever or uh, whatever stayed safe because yeah we know the deal we have crazy moments now worldwide and we could see a, you know a total collapse of you know a lot of the markets and, and bitcoin included 
So like I said, any retracements, we do know that 35.6, 35.7, major level here, taking a look at BTC. Uh, and also 36, 36.3 uh, is also a major level, all right? Uh, we could hit those levels potentially in the next coming hours. Um, looking at the 30 minute chart, we could have a kind of an ABC major dead cap bounce. And then, you know, this level is gonna be super, super strong, like I said, all depending on how we react to that range, it might be a good shorting opportunity. Will we get up there? No, uh, um, not guaranteed, basically, because we could start falling pretty aggressively and continue this uh, massive downtrend. Guys, let's take a look at the comment section. Deva, thank you very much for joining. Average, uh, hope everybody is staying safe. Um, right, let's take a look uh, at the comment section here. Scroll down. Uh, da, da, da. Hello, love from India. Could you please analyze CHR? Let's take a look at CHR. We can take a look at some some altcoins, of course. Let's take a look at CHR. A lot of them might must be getting absolutely crushed. Okay, let's analyze the situation. Right, we, I just got some boxes. Long time that we since we haven't analyzed this um, this cryptocurrency. I've got some old um, old wedges here. We can clean the chart a little bit. And um, CHR Chromia. This one is looking, yeah, not not good, not good. Basically, we were creating consistent lower highs, as you can see. It does look like that you are potentially on this one. Create, we were creating a massive descending triangle, which is extremely bearish. You're creating consistently lower highs right there. Massive big support, strong resistance. Also, this is why you were getting that bounce. Completely lost it here for the last few days. Uh, this one could, you know, have an aggressive drop. Now, if you're looking at the textbook technical analysis target, which I don't think will happen, this is like when Bitcoin back in 2018, you know, this this should take the price to negative uh, 50 cents. So yeah, that is uh, impossible basically. Um, but, you know, we need to take a look at major levels here. And, you know, a major level here looking at Chromia, you can see a big consolidation at this level big consolidation at that range also nice supported right here so this we are going to get some kind of reaction here if we do get a bounce on chromia to back up back up to 46 cents range this is going to be uh, very very difficult to get above uh you know keeping it super simple if we consolidate at that range this could be a major shorting opportunity shorting here is 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 a little bit crazy in my opinion we do not know if we're going to stop and get a relief rally and also longing is very, very risky because we could be falling down this major support. So I would be patient, wait for a retracement and see a potential, you know, um, rejection from that major resistance. Right, let's take a look here at the rest of the comment section. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin just, just there. I think we could, we could come down to retest the lows here. I have to check Bitcoin because I am planning to um, exit my position here around about the 34.9, which would be the low area. This consolidation, I think a potential retest and the higher low is possible. So it's definitely an area to, to, to take some profits. If you are shorting these resistance levels, right? You are shorting major resistance levels. Um, you need to have your targets. We do not know if we are going to break down we do not know if we are going to create a slightly higher low and make a kind of an abc correction and gain this this high over here and then go to the next resistance and then potentially come all the way down so we need to try and get into these movements now a good area in my opinion if you're shorting here to take profits to protect your position just in case you do have that abc correction and maybe continue to the upside but uh, this major consolidation range, definitely a good area to, um, to take profits, just in case you do get that slightly higher low or double, double bottom. Uh, because you don't, we don't really know if we are going to break this low right now. I think it can be broken very, very likely in the next coming hours and days, but you could also see that potential bounce and then come back down. So this is why this is kind of a scalp trade, guys scalp trade here on on bitcoin looking to take profits at the 34.9 approximately so i'll be checking bitcoin right now and yeah these are major levels guys like i said keeping it simple the 36 the 35.6 and the 36.3 which has been major support so um yeah 
Morning all from the UK. Craig, morning. Good morning, everyone. Linda, Craig, Nephi, hi, Nathan, how are you doing? Uh, Plansonic, how are you doing? It's happening, Andy. Crazy times, says Ian Gazard. Yes, very difficult times, guys. But you can still make... My portfolio is not looking great. It's not looking good. Uh, I guess your portfolio is not looking good. But there are opportunities in the market, guys. You can short trade this and there's huge amount of money to... You know, you can make more money shorting the market than actually longing because when the markets have this type of, you know, fear... You know, the collapse is so fast, you can make m money much more, you know, faster, much faster than actually longing. Because longing, you take a long time to actually people get buying it, you know, retracing, buying, buying and, and retracing. When you have a panic moment, you know, it's it's getting in the, in the retracements and making huge money, you know. Uh, shorting right over here would have been, yeah... <sighs> I mean, it would have been difficult. It would have been difficult, but it wasn't a bad idea. Yesterday, we were also talking about this range over here. It's going to be hard for BTC to get above that range. We had that 39, 39.5 major resistance. Okay, this is why I did not long. I wasn't too confident in longing right here. We were talking about that bullish case scenario. And um, yeah, basically hitting that major resistance area. So um it was very, you know, getting above this major level that had pretty high volume would have been ideal to be pretty confident in this breakout. We were, you know, basically hitting that last lower high here from this major downtrend. So, yeah, which is this one. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to plan to take profits here on this short position. You know, I'm taking a look at the one hourly. It's you know, are kind of ideal to take profits at the low. Maybe look at it at the one hourly candle. You know, we are basically going to retest. We are at a consolidation. So I'm just going to close live this short position at almost $400 in a profit right there and close it right now. Could we come lower? Yes, of course. But, you know, I'm happy with this day trade, this scalp profit, $400 in one day. You know, it pays the bills. So, we're going to try and find more more opportunities now could we come much lower yes of course but because this is a scalp uh, and i do see a, a potential small bounce from this range but i can also see a major major collapse on the on the bitcoin price guys it is also very very possible guys make sure to stay safe don't rush into trades not longs shorts make sure to be patient wait to to hit those major levels okay and 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 get into into um you know short or longs but don't rush into shorts right now don't rush into longs make sure to wait for you know potential movements uh bounces on the market hitting some some major levels now let's take a look at um good morning uh, a great foot a great opportunity yeah exactly yeah this is this is true you know um accumulating btc at these levels is already good okay if you are going to accumulate bitcoin for the long term buying at these levels are, is great could we come much lower you know there's a lot of people saying yeah i want to buy at thirty thousand. i want to buy at twenty five thousand. do you do you know if we are going to hit twenty five thousand dollar bitcoin do you actually really know because i don't know um if we hit those levels i will be happy enough to buy obviously at that range it would be an, an incredible opportunity because I, i'm a strong believer that bitcoin will cost hundreds of thousand dollars in the next few years it might be five years it might be seven eight years it doesn't really matter but you know the the, the overall trend macro trend is is extremely bullish and um i would be happy to buy btc at about 25k uh, if it, we were to hit those levels even 20k right so anyway we're going to try and find those opportunities shorting longing whatever guys staying safe you know tight stop losses and um yeah just stay super safe guys in this market give me ta on andy uh on andy on ada andy i am in a short but think to add more very soon uncle grandpa uh right let's take a look at this also uh ada here for uncle grandpa right away ada is up uh, i think it's getting absolutely crushed i got my portfolio is getting absolutely crushed but of course you know i was happy taking profits back in in april and also a little bit also on my metis um that i did buy some of these altcoins um but a lot of them you know i i, I didn't even take 
um, 15% of profits back in November and also, you know, in January, just very, very little uh, profits, you know, 18, 85% of my portfolio is remaining the same, which is down insanely. But um, this is the thing, you know, this is crypto guys. If you want to, you know, if you want to panic sell right now, I think it's not the best moment. Could we go much lower? Yes, I think, uh, you know, if you did, haven't taken profits, you know, back in January or back in November uh, on a lot of the the uh, Bitcoin and altcoins, then it's I think it's definitely not not the time right now to pull out of the market. Uh, if you are expecting to buy lower, could we go lower? Yeah, I think so. It, it is very, very probable. But um, yeah, I think, you know, I, I was holding a lot. Let me just show you here because I started investing in, in BTC in mid 2018. And um, I just want to show you these scenarios. If we go here to the weekly, um, because you know, I started buying just right over here when BTC was round about, you know, it was at 6,000, 8,000, 9,000, 6,000, 8,000, round this range, okay? And um, basically the price fell. Um, you know, a lot of people saying round over this range, a lot of people saying that we were gonna go to much lower levels, even to $1,000. Did I panic sell? No, I was actually accumulating more um so this is the thing you know after being through these major big drops you know i was also accumulating right over here and after going these to, to, after these major drops it's not a good time to sell down here when you are going down right so now i know a lot of people might think this time is different you know bitcoin's going to go to uh, a multi-year bear market we are going to hit 25 twenty thousand dollars it is possible yes of course but I think, you know, selling right over here, especially if you have been buying at these ranges. Uh, I, I know a lot of people these last couple of days, I've been getting a lot of messages, you know, what do you think is going to happen? Should I sell now in a, in a small loss uh, or in a quite a big loss and try and buy some more BTC at lower levels? And I think this is a, a big mistake. I think, you know, because you, you don't know how low you're going to go. I think you should hold your positions and potentially accumulate more on the way down okay uh if it does happen okay because no nobody knows for certain that if if we are going to hit you know 30k or 25k or 20k nobody really knows so um yeah let me just scroll here down through the comment section because i got a super chat um Right, Rusland will be banned from SWIFT and decentralized uh, and decentralized BTC crypto into Rusland and more countries will follow. What do you think, Andy? And please check VRA. I mean, that's um, SWIFT and decentralized BTC and crypto into Rusland and more countries will follow. I think, you know, that's absolutely great. Obviously, um, I mean, look, look what happened in Canada. They froze uh, accounts there. Lo loads of stuff has been happening you know and um i think this is i mean btc is the money of the people you know crypto is the money of the people if we see these account um these countries having massive you know look at canada i mean canada has been crazy you know um freezing the the accounts of the people which is i think is crazy um um, so yeah, too many people still in denial state. So I sold everything says Fred, right? Joey, thank you very much for the $5. Let's take a look at VRA straight away. Let's take a look at VRA right away. See what's going on. And on Cardano, I think, you know, Cardano is, is just losing that 80, 80 cent level. This is not looking, this is just like a classic market cycle you know once cardano finds a steady bottom for for months you know it could potentially be the bottom so very aggressive in adding to your position here i know nothing special just a potato said it you know you were in a short position on cardano it's very hard to say i think we could absolutely you know water have a cascade event on a lot of the altcoins so stay stay cautious uh, if you have a good position all the way up here, it wouldn't be a bad idea potentially to add to position. I think, um, you know, because we came pretty fast up from 35 cents all the way up here to 80 cents. 
I think that, um, yeah, I think, you know, because it was a fast move, there's not much support levels around, it, around this area in between 35 and, and 80 cents. So we could have a little bit of a cascade event here to the downside on Cardano. Let's take a look at VRA here for Joey straight away. Thank you very much for the super chat and see what's going on. VRA, I mean, losing major support levels also. I think this is very similar to Bitcoin chart, right? Where we do have the September lows right over here. We do have the highs coming very close to the September lows and finally losing it and having that volatile movement, okay, to the upside, thinking that you are going to get supported and continue up. And absolutely not. We are currently losing this low over here, as you can see. Uh, not looking, not looking good for VRA. I think you know VRA is a good project, but all projects, you know, if if they're no matter how good they are, uh, they are in a bear market. They, they they all go down, guys. They all go down. All markets go down, basically. Um, so uh, if VRA not looking too great, I think a potential retest of the summer lows on VRA, which is round about the you know 0 0.008 cents, currently trading at 1.6 cents, uh, is very, very possible. Looking very weak. This market is looking very, very weak. We're currently losing this major consolidation. So expect some more downside here on VRA. That is um, very, very likely. So, um, but, but, but can we see a short squeeze? Yeah, of course we can. Also, we can see a short squeeze. I think a lot of people are um, are, are willing to short massive shorts um, opening right now. Of course, uh, it's not a good moment to short if you're scalping just like I did on Prime XBT. Yes, of course you can get in and out. Uh, you know, from bounces in in a matter of minutes, in a matter of you know uh, about an hour or half an hour. You know, I shorted this major resistance zone with this major aggressive um, short position right there and take and took profit straight away at that 34.9K levels at this low. The reason why, because it is, I don't know if we're going to break this range. It is always a kind of a retest that happens and potentially have an ABC correction. Um, if we do have that short squeeze and we do see the market pumping to that $36,000 range, that is going to be a major area to look at. That is going to be a major area to look at. Look how many times we have been bouncing at that major resistance. It's been a major, major level to, uh, to, to uh, you know, to bounce from as support. It's very likely that we are going to get rejected at least we are going to have some kind of reaction at that 36 36.3 k area now remember we do have huge volume also coming to the downside here looking at the one hourly or the four hourly or the 30 minute it doesn't matter we do have a big spike in volume right there so i think uh, obviously the bears are in total control any type of retracement i think um I think this level is it's not even the 50, it's the 382. 382 would be that 36.2 range. 382 is also a major Fibonacci level where you could get rejected. In this case, a potential scalping opportunity, if we were to come all the way here to this range, would be a short all the way to this area, at least to the 35.4 uh, approximately, because you do have a, a, a resistance level right there. You do have... A major resistance level so as you can see it's also been here so um, it's definitely a take profit area and also protect your position guys I I know a lot of people get into positions and don't protect their position because if I were to short this range over here and I arrive to this area uh, it's a take profit area and it's also to um, protect your position right if you're gonna take 50% profits protect your position you cannot have your stop loss here behind this major big candle over here and just be in profits uh hit a major support level and then you know not take profits and just leave your stop loss there and then you potentially will get stopped out from from a potential big short squeeze or whatever kind of price action uh, remember this is an incredible volatile market just protect your position it's very hard i remember back in my you know first years I, it was so hard to just take profits because you you know this is what happens to a lot of traders uh, traders 
you get emotional, you see your profit, and you, you, you think, okay, this is going to go lower, this is going to go lower, or it's going to go higher, higher, depending on if you're long or shorting. As soon as you start hitting a major resistance or a support level that is against you, you protect your position, you take profits, um, and it's, I know it's very hard. It was very hard to me. I it happened, I was in many, many profits that, you know, turned around into a loss and it happens to a lot of people. This is also why a lot of people, um, um, lose money because they take, they do not take profits and they do not protect your position, their position. Um, right. Uh, bo bo let's take a look. Let's take a look. Bo 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 right. Are Dutch people Netherlands able to withdraw uh, fiat on Prime XBT? Does anyone know? I can't find this information uh, accurately. We'll sign up via your link if so. Um, yeah, I think so. But fiat, I think you cannot withdraw, able to withdraw fiat on Prime XBT. No, it's just crypto, basically. It is, you know, Ethereum. Um, Prime XBT supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, and USDC. They got those two stable coins. You can deposit any of them and you can trade with any of those cryptos. Of course, if you want to withdraw uh, fiat, I think you would have to do that basically on centralized exchange such as Kraken, uh, Binance, you know, Coinbase. That is how you basically do it. If you want to um, withdraw fiat, you cannot withdraw fiat exactly from... Um, Prime XBT, if that is your question, but um, you know they they do support stable coins. It's not just Bitcoin. You can you can deposit USDC, USDT. You get seven percent added to your deposit. It is to use for trading. Of course, you cannot withdraw that seven percent that is added on Prime XBT. You can only use it for buying power, right? If that makes any sense. Uh, any any um, profits that you make with that bonus added. Of course, you can withdraw. It's just it's just buying power basically, so you can have bigger buying power um, or selling power if you're shorting. Of course, um, like up the live stream. Thank you, Andy. I've stumbled on your channel about almost a month ago, and just want to say I appreciate your breakdowns and explanation helps us keep those mindsets clear. Yeah, guys. Um, Thank you very much. I mean, I want to be totally transparent. Um, I, I, I trade the markets every single day. I basically trade Bitcoin. I mean, the, the thing of trading altcoins, you, you can be very, very profitable in altcoins. They are a little bit too volatile for my, st my style of trading, but you can make huge profits on, on altcoins. I basically focus on Bitcoin, S&P 500, and sometimes uh, um, the German stock market. I like to take a look at DAX um 30 because I, I it's, it's a market that i started trading back in 2017 and i just enjoy it it's very it respects very much supporting resistance levels and i like the volume on it so but i only sometimes trade it i'm mainly focused on bitcoin and s p 500 you don't need more to be a successful trader right i mean it's uh uh this is the thing is you only need one market to make huge gains at the end of the month so uh, all right thank you mate you're very welcome marco stay safe i've got a full tutorial prime xbt down below also make sure to understand make sure to practice um i got a full tutorial learning uh, to explaining how to use margin trading because prime xbt uses margin trading it doesn't use isolated like uh bybit it's a different style of um of trading so and i explain all down below in the prime xbt uh, tutorial um, right du -du 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 -du. exactly what I look to trade Bitcoin and S&P 500 says Nephi yeah you just need one two markets basically to to be a successful trader I have been looking at Forex Forex is an absolutely crazy market um, I haven't traded it because I, I don't like the charts it's very difficult for my kind of analysis um, so yeah also gold or oh, gold is a difficult market for my kind of uh, analysis I'm, I'm better adapted on bitcoin and s p 500 and, and dax 30 german stock market right um bu -bu 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 -bu. uh hi andy please um t teach some text to carl as well he needs to learn a lot from you uh, yeah thank you very much 
Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it, I think it just does um, basic analysis, which is okay. But um, yeah, I'm do I'm learning right now, guys. You know, you never stop learning when you are doing trading and technical analysis. There is this major, you know, tool from different platforms, and it's not Trading View that you can actually read the volume inside of the candle. I am very interested. You know, my trading is based on on volume and price action and support and resistance levels. And reading the volume from each candle on the one hourly, the 30 minute, the five minute, and knowing where exactly is the buying or the selling pressure inside of the candle is an insane tool, I think. And this is something that I am learning right now. I've, I've just been using candlesticks, you know, volume. I've learned all sorts of indicators, but I think reading volume from inside each candle uh, where the actual buying and selling pressure is is an incredible tool and yeah i hope I, i'm gonna bring this soon once i um you know be very very uh, uh, i'm an expert on it basically i will bring it into the channel uh so but first of all uh i need to learn thoroughly how to use it you know uh, before i explain it of course i'm just going to explain what i have learned what works for me of course and you know i'm a trader always learns every day this is why this is such a fascinating uh trade but right because you know you learn every single day markets move every single day so you never stop never stop learning guys and i want to be totally transparent with what i'm learning so yeah guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new Will we go to 32K in BDC and BTC? I think the lows here that we did um, create back in uh, back in January are very, very possible. These lows, which is 33K levels, I think it's, it's almost inevitable right now because we are breaking so big uh, support levels. Question is, how are we going to react to that level? How are we going to react? Are we going to get a bounce from these lows? I think it's inevitable to come down and retest the lows at some point, potentially in the next coming days. It can be today, or depending on see what happens. You know, I, I'm going to try and make another live stream today, guys, at half three Central European time because it is when the stock market opens. The uh, the US stock market opens half three Central European time. It's in about um just over three and a half hours right now i'm gonna try uh, this is why i'm gonna finish this live stream right now pumpy action you got it a uh, little bit of pumpy action right now on bitcoin yeah stay cautious guys let's see what happens i, I think the volume is going to be very very low i think there is a possibility of regaining this is the 30 minute chart regaining this 35.7 k levels uh, and, and forming kind of an abc correction we are going to react to this range stay cautious guys if volume is low remember tight stop losses right here above this major um little small consolidation on the 30 minute you can see it on the 15 minute even better stay cautious guys if you are longing um we could see some more downside on the market that is for sure um uh, like the video guys absolutely we've got 300 people watching you know absolutely smash up that like button you know only educational content you know and and showing basically levels how to protect yourself how to make gains you know i've just explained why i shorted you know i, I wish sometimes i want to get into a live stream but if i see the opportunity i might just enter and i might not enter let's try and find some trading opportunities but um at half three I'm going to try and make it for a live stream, another live stream today. Let's try and find a good trading opportunity and protecting a position. You know, this is what I'm going to do. I just want to be totally transparent. I've told you why I entered a short position. You know, another good reason here is this big candlestick here on the 15 minute big volume. You are hitting that major resistance right there. So it was definitely, you know, the resistance here from back back from january the 27th and yeah basically january the 27th we can see we had a double bottom here strong double bottom range we also had a support if we extend this you know we did see a reaction as support right there so three major bounces big volume it was definitely worth a small scalp 
uh, opportunity big volume right there it's a major level you are creating this kind of small double top on the 15 minute definitely a good scalp opportunity to this range where you are definitely going to get a reaction this is what happened let's try and find that half three guys central european time i'm going to try and make it i'm going to leave right now uh what did you do with link i'm holding my link <laughs> i will hold my link um to zero i will hold my link to zero i think that's the mentality kind of you gotta you gotta have for a long-term bag right um yeah the chain link is actually what the only crypto i did not take any profits i started accumulating chain link at one dollar uh, and six sixty one dollar sixty and haven't taken profits this is a long-term investment long long-term investment it would have been nice to sell at $50 and buy up some more right now. But it's one of those that I do not pay attention. I've got it on the sidelines. I just got it there um, in my wallet. And yeah, I've taken profits. I did take profits on VeChain, on Bitcoin, on Ethereum back in April. Uh, so yeah, it's just one of them that I'm, it's, got, it's for the long term, basically. So really down from the profits. I'm, I'm not in a loss because I started accumulating heavily at $1.60. But uh, yeah, had much more profits uh, back, uh, you know, in, in March, April from last year. Um, yeah, guys, let's try and, you know, I'm going to try and make it for half three Central European time. Watch this kind of price action. Okay. We could have a little bit of a short squeeze, but I think that 36.4K levels might be a good opportunity, guys. This range might be a good level, okay? Um, stay cautious. Stay cautious. Protect your position. Don't risk too much. And yeah, you know the deal down below. you got the best deals for trading on Bybit and also on PrimeXBT. You get the best deals. Okay, it's another way to support the channel. Of course, I get a small commission. These are platforms that I use every single day, especially Prime XBT. On um, Bybit, you get four thousand one hundred dollars worth of bonus. You can you also get thirty percent fee discount, even though the fees are also they are already extremely cheap on Bybit. And on Prime XBT, you get seven percent added to your deposit. Whatever you deposit, you get seven percent added. I've got both of the tutorials down below. It's for experienced traders. Trading is extremely risky, guys. Hope you are learning a lot with my channel. You know, I'm being totally transparent with my trades, with my positions. Okay, why I take them, why I take profits. So you can understand and hopefully be a successful trader tomorrow, right? Check out Bitcoin Sense's website. We've got the latest news and technical analysis ideas here. All right. And, um, you know, latest news uh, today is crypto market plunged due to Russia and Ukraine conflict make sure to check out this article this latest news all right it's um you know totally free information every single day here guys thank you for joining make sure to subscribe smash up the like button and hopefully i will see you in a few hours